How will longevity reshape the world? Well, it depends on which longevity we experience. Uh, on the one hand, some subgroups of the population are probably going to experience accelerated improvements in longevity as a result of medical technology that they will have access to, and it probably will fundamentally change the way in which they live their lives, their, their working lives, their um, marriage uh, patterns, a whole, you know, a whole suite of lifelong events will change for them. On the flip side, there are going to be subgroups of the population where longevity is shortened. They live shorter lives, perhaps even less healthy lives than uh, other subgroups of the population. And for them, their lives will be changed forever. Uh, the concepts of retirement and work for them are different than they would be for people that are more well off. So longevity in the future is going to be in many ways far different than it is today, depending on which subgroup of the population you belong to. Um, stopping aging is not in the cards. We are not going to uh, end the process of biological aging anytime soon. It's, it's a fundamental attribute of our species. It's a fundamental attribute of most other living things. So stopping aging is not going to happen in my view. Uh, in spite of efforts or claims by some that we're going to be immortal or that we're going to live radically longer than we do today, instead I think we should be trying to slow down the biological process of aging. That I think is plausible. That I think is possible. Now what does it mean to slow down the biological process of aging? It means that it may take 70 years to become 50 or 80 years to become 60. You would retain your youthful vigor for a longer time period. You would postpone the infirmities associated with aging to, to later ages. To me, that's a plausible target. It's the one that we should be pursuing, and we should be pursuing it aggressively.